Housing is guaranteed all four years at Colgate, but coming in as a first year student, you actually have six different options to live with all other first year students. Every single residence hall has a common area to get to hang out with all your friends, and each one also has their own laundry facilities, and some you can even log online and they'll tell you which machines are in use so you never have to lug your laundry, you just discovered that there are no free. We'll actually head on inside East Hall and check out the dorms. This is an example of an average dorm that you would have here at Colgate. Obviously these beds are bunked right now, but you can debunk them. You can also lock them to stick your dresser under if you want to have a little extra space. It's a little sparse right now, but if I were to move in here on orientation, I would definitely put a few pictures of my friends and family at home up above here, or a poster of my favorite artist. Um, and I would definitely recommend bringing a big comforter to uh, keep you warm in the winter. These beds, by the way, are definitely big enough for your biggest student here. Every student at Colgate is issued a desk, which is great because the entire campus is wireless, so you probably want to stick your laptop here, take your Facebook, your MySpace, um, and also your printer, print off any papers, assignments, and have your books here for any reading, studying. You want to talk to your roommate before you come in, figure out who's bringing the microwave and the fridge. Um, definitely don't have any reservations about talking to them beforehand. One of my roommates from my first year is still one of my best friends. Every student at Colgate also gets their own wardrobe, which has tons of space to bring all your clothes, sweatshirts, sweaters, you have tank tops for the warmer months. So you can bring whatever you want to Colgate to really make it your own room, your home away from home. And a final tip, definitely bring a small whiteboard for the outside of your door so all your new friends can leave you a note if you're not at home. While first years live in East Hall and other traditional residence halls up the hill, sophomores, juniors, and seniors have more housing options down the hill. The townhouses are a key component to the residential education program. They encourage community living situations between 8 and 16 people. And some of the example groups here are currently a sorority, as well as the WRCU campus radio station house, as well as the Frisbee team. Continuing along Broad Street, we also have fraternity and sorority houses, as well as the university apartments and theme houses. 